Hello church family! My name is Stephen Helm, Director of Christian Education at Christ Our Redeemer Lutheran Church, and you're watching Devo with Stevo. First thing I want to tell you is that I miss you all so much. This lockdown has gone on longer than we could have anticipated, and it's been more challenging than we would ever have known. I miss you guys. I miss gathering in our sanctuary, singing and worshiping together. I miss sharing communion with one another. I miss pancake breakfasts. I miss potluck lunches. I miss Sunday school. I miss seeing your faces and being in your good company. I miss you guys. But even through this difficult time, we have been patient in our suffering. We have persevered in prayer. We have learned and experienced ways to grow in our faith, to become closer to God, to reach out to one another and stay connected, to draw closer as a family, both in our homes and as a church family with all of us separated by distance. We've stayed connected. But even through all those glorious and amazing achievements and overcomings, I confess that there's times when I've still felt by myself. I felt alone, isolated, on my own. And just like I was encouraging you guys to memorize a scripture from, from this past week, I've got another one that I would love for you to commit to memory yourself, especially if you've had moments where you felt alone too. It's from our gospel reading this Sunday, and it's Matthew 18 verse 20 and it says for where two or three are gathered in my name I am there among them for where two or three are gathered in my name I am there among them it's the words of Jesus reminding us reminding a, a community as it's written in the gospel this was a group that was gathered together and they went through difficult times. They had difficult circumstances. They had moments in their family relationship that were challenging. Well, we can all relate to going through difficult circumstances and challenging times. And through it all, as Jesus was telling them, here's how you can endure. Here's how you can be patient. Here's how you can persevere. The answer and the reminder and the glorious good news was that Jesus is there among us, among our community. Whether we are in a house full of people where we can't find a moment to ourselves, or whether we're like I am today, right now, all alone with nobody here at the moment, Jesus reminds us that we are not alone. He is there in our presence always. Whether our community is gathered tight and close and in, in one another's presence, or whether we are far apart, Jesus is with us always. That is good news for this day, all the days that we have to persevere, and for the glorious day when the lockdown is over and we are reunited. Jesus remains with us always. Thank you for watching, and may God's peace be with you. And wait, church family, before you go, let me invite you to sit at our family dinner table so that we can pray together, be reminded that Jesus is with us, and know that we are never alone. Let us pray. Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Forever and ever and ever. Amen.